Hello YouTube, hope your week's going okay. Today I'm going to talk about the books that I want to reread. Sometimes when I read, I think in order to get through as many books as possible, sometimes I rush through books and I don't always stop to appreciate a book. And sometimes I miss important details and sometimes I even end up just forgetting what happened in the book. And some of these books I really did enjoy but just really didn't take the time to appreciate and savor. I don't know if you're guilty of this, I'm certainly guilty of that. So here's a list of books that I want to read again and and really appreciate. First up on my list is The Raven Cycle by Maggie Stiebotter. I really did enjoy this series, but the first book I know I did rush through, and I kind of rushed through a lot of the world building and some of the character development, and I kind of speed read through the other books. I think I read the whole series at times when I was really busy, but I feel like that's not the kind of attention that a book series like this really deserves. And I do love all of the characters, and I do want to just spend more time with them and actually appreciate them. So at some point I'm hoping to actually revisit the series and read the the entire thing again. Next book on my list is Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. If you don't know, this book is about a man who lives in London and one day he opens a doorway into the underside of London. It's essentially where all of London's forgotten things fall down and reside. It was a really nice creepy novel, I thought it was decent, but I wasn't crazy about it the first time around. But based on how well loved this novel is, I feel like I might have overlooked something or maybe missed out on something because I read it so quickly. And this is also one of Neil Gaiman's classics, so I feel like if I went back and read it again and actually took things in, then I actually might like it way more. Next on my list is Red Rising by Pierce Brown. So I just finished the sequel, Golden Sun, and Golden Sun is really good. I did really like it. But I found that I had actually forgotten a lot of the world building and a lot of the character dynamics from Red Rising, the first book, and I was too lazy to reread Red Rising at the time, so I basically had the Red Rising wiki page open the whole time I was reading Golden Sun, so I could be like, okay, this character did this, and this character comes from this family. The thing is, when you do read a lot of books really fast, you do kind of forget them more, and it's just chunks of Red Rising is just missing from my memory, and I think if I did go back and reread Red Rising, I would appreciate a lot of these characters character dynamics and changing relationships a lot more. And also there is a big reveal in Golden Sun which made me realize I had been looking in the totally wrong direction and maybe I'd be clued in if I went back and read Red Rising. Next up on my list is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. So the reason that I may have read this book quite quickly was that I was doing Tome Topple Readathon at the time and this was one of the books on my TBR, but I read this on audiobook. The audiobook narrator and I really did not get on. I just could not take his voice seriously for the life of me. It just seemed so boyish and bashful, and it really just didn't have the gravitas I felt was needed to tell an epic like this. So I just put it on 1.25, 1.5 speed, and I just sped through the book. But I think because of that aberration in my mind, I didn't appreciate the world enough. So I think if I read it on Kindle or read it as a physical copy, I might like it more and might have paid more attention to the world building rather than thinking about how annoyed I was about the narrator's voice. So that was just my individual issue with the audiobook. Maybe other people liked it better. Next on my list is the Infernal Devices trilogy by Cassandra Clare. This series of books I want to reread for a different reason. So I finished City of Glass last year. That's the third book in the Mortal Instruments series. So in between City of Glass and the next book, the Infernal Devices trilogy was published. And I've always been told it's best to read Cassie Clare's books in publication order because then you kind of understand a lot of the references she's making and a lot of the characters she introduces. And apparently in the next half of the Mortal Instruments series, a lot of characters from Infernal Devices are introduced and referenced. So I've been told that this is a good time to read the Infernal Devices series and it's been a long time since I've read that series. So I thought, why not? Why not revisit that series again? Also, I had some similar issues with the audiobook narrators with the first two books. So that's maybe another series I should try in another medium. And the last book on my series is the Lord of the Rings trilogy. It's not that I've rushed through this series at all or haven't appreciated the series enough. I just am always rereading the Lord of the Rings. So I did finish Return of the King earlier this year, but of course at some point I want to read the Lord of the Rings again. Christopher Lee, of course, very famously read the Lord of the Rings trilogy every year, but I always love going back to the series and spending time with the characters and picking up on new dynamics in the story. Reading the series has always felt like 
a warm hug. And a lot of people on booktube reread Harry Potter often. And for me, I like rereading The Lord of the Rings. So when I think enough time has passed, I think I'll commence another reread of this story. So that's it for the books that I want to reread. Let me know in the comments if there are any books that you want to reread. Subscribe to my channel if you like my content. In the meantime, you can follow me on Twitter and Goodreads. And I will see you in my next video.